Hopefully by now you're somewhat familiar with polar coordinates and how to plot points on a polar graph, because we're going to be getting into graphing some serious polar equations in this video. The three types of graphs we're going to be working with, first off is circles, which looks a little something like that if you're not familiar. Second is cardioids. You might think cardiac or cardio and think of hearts, and you'd actually be exactly right. A cardioid looks somewhat like a heart, kind of like a circle with a pinched end here. And lastly, we have limosomes or limacons, as I like to say, but limosomes is correct. And these are kind of like the heart graphs, except um, instead of stopping at the heart, you do a little loop de loop right inside and continue on. This is a limosome. Let's go ahead and kick things off with r equals 3 cosine theta. Now we're going to do this by plotting points. Now instead of an xy chart, since we're using polar coordinate system, we're going to use a theta r chart, where theta is the angle and r is the radius. So I've gone ahead and put some values into our chart here. I just picked different radian values along the polar graph and then plugged those into the calculator and found the corresponding, ra corresponding radius uh, that goes with that. Now that we've got some values, we can plot points. First, we've got 0, 3. There we are. Then we've got pi over 4, 2.1. That's pi over 4, 1, 2, and a little bit further, 2.1, somewhere around there. Next we've got pi, whoops, next we've got pi over 2, 0, that's pi over 2, right at 0, so that's just going to be at the origin. Next, moving on, we've got 3 pi over 4, negative 2.1, that's 3 pi over 4 right here, negative 2.1 is going to be in this direction, right about there, okay? We've got pi negative 3. That's going to be pi here. Negative 3. Looks like we already have a point there. We've got 3 pi over 2, 0. That's 3 pi over 2 right here, 0. Again, we have a point there. Then 7 pi over 4 and 2.1. We've already got a point there as well. Okay. Now, if you weren't sure what this graph would look like, you could always pick more radian values and find more points. Now, I've kind of have some experience with this, and I know that this is actually going to be a circle graph just like that. So I've used my points, found a few, uh, actually only four, there was some overlap, but I can deduce that this is going to be a circle. Moving on, r equals 4 minus 3 cosine theta. I've gone ahead and filled out this table with a variety of points and plotted those points. Notice this time I used some pi over 3, some 3 pi over 4, 7 pi over 6. The more variety you can have, the easier it's going to be for you to tell what shape you're dealing with, especially if you aren't familiar with the different patterns of polar equations. Let's go ahead and zoom in here on our graph. Now you might notice that our last one was in, had four points that formed an exact circle. Now here, it doesn't look like these form a perfect circle. In fact, this one's kind of closer. These ones are a little bit further away, but still close until you get all the way out here to the pi where we have a value of seven, which is furthest away. In this case now, if you connect these, now let's see if you can see it. I'm gonna just go ahead and connect all my dots right here. And this is actually going to pinch in and form a cardioid. You could see with the circle shape pinched in at one and so if I zoom out, you can see kind of the whole picture there. And it just has a slight pinch right here. And we got that by plotting all of these points. Last example, r equals 1 plus 2 sine theta. Again, filled out the chart, plotted our points here. We've got 0, 1, pi over 6, 2, pi over 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 pi over 4, 2.4, 3 pi over 4, 2.4, pi 1, pi 1, 4 pi over 3, negative 0.7, 4 pi over 3, negative 0.7, 3 pi over 2, negative 1, 3 pi over 2, negative 1, and 11 pi over 6, 0, 11 pi over 6, 0 is going to be right at the origin. Okay, let's zoom in and see what we notice here. All right, this looks a bit different. Definitely not a circle. Um, if it was a cardioid, we know it would kind of pinch in 
at one point, but we've got these overlapping dots right here. This looks definitely different than anything we've seen before. And in actuality, go ahead and watch as I connect the dots here. I'm going to start on the right, and it's going to spin around. Whoop! And actually, it's going to go through the origin and loop. And I kind of know because I've done these before, but it's going to loop just like this and continue along the way. And if we plotted extra points, we'd get another one here and all the way along this graph here. This is a limosome. All right, so looking at the big picture here, we've plotted all those points. We noticed that we had some interesting overlap here, and that's when you know it's going to loop around to form this type of graph. All right, you're gonna get used to what these graphs look like and actually have to plot less and less points, but if you're ever stuck, just throw on more radiant angles and plot as many points as you can until you know what that shape looks like. 